Hello there and welcome to Year 4 Maths. This topic is on me measuring mass. Now what is mass? Mass means weight. So kilograms stand for kg and grams stand for g. We just shorten these long words just to make it easy for us to understand what they mean. So kilograms and grams are some of the units we use to measure the weight or mass of an object. So for example, as we can see here from our image that we have in front of us, the 1000 grams equals to one kilograms. And we can see that here, right on top. And 500 grams stands for a half a kilogram. So a quarter of a kilogram is 250 grams because a quarter of a thousand is 250 and then three quarters of a thousand grams is 750 grams so what we do is we turn the gram kilograms into grams and then we find the half and the quarter and three quarters let's look at some uh, examples first of all so if the example is 1,500 grams, we need to turn this into kilograms. Now we know that in one kilogram, there are 1,000 grams. And 1,000 has three zeros. To turn 1,500 grams into kilograms, the answer will be shorter. So what we do is we divide this by a thousand, because remember there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. Now the best way to do this is to just move the decimal points to the left. So there's an invisible decimal point here at the end of 1500. Because a thousand has three zeros, when we divide 1500 grams by 1000, we move the decimal point to the left three times because 1000 has three zeros. So we're dividing by 1000, and that means when you divide by 1000, you move the decimal points to the left three times. When you divide by 100, 100 has two zeros, and we move the decimal point to the left twice. 10 has one zero, so when we divide by 10, we move the decimal point to the left just the once. So because we're dividing by 1,000, we're going to move the decimal point to the left three times. So once, twice, and three times. So this is where the new decimal point goes, and the answer will be 1.5 kilograms. And we can get rid of these zeros at the end. So 1.5 kilograms will be the answer in this case. If we go further and look at a few more um, examples, let's try another example. So these are just examples at the moment. So remember, in one kilogram, there are 1,000 grams. And we need to convert 200 kilograms into grams. Okay, so 200 kilograms will be 2,000. Let's do that one again. So 1,000, one kilogram is 1,000, so we do 200 multiplied by 1,000. Now, because 1,000 has three zeros, and this time round, we're not dividing, we're multiplying, we're just going to add these three zeros at the end of 200. So we have 200, and now we add these three zeros, one, two, three, at the end. So 200 kilograms will now be 
thousand grams. When you multiply by a thousand, you just add three zeros at the end. When you multiply by a hundred, you just add the two zeros at the end because a hundred has two zeros. And when you multiply by 10, then you just add one zero at the end because 10 has one zero. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, try your best with the rest of the questions and use the image example to help you answer the rest of the questions. Thank you.